Another horse dies at Santa Anita. 26 third Los Angeles a third horse has died in nine days at Santa Anita when Cachas could not be saved by surgery on Sunday morning after sustaining an injury Saturday during the sixth race. He was vanned off the course and a splint was applied. He stayed overnight, Cachas, a nine-year-old gelding, was running in his 49th race, a dollar ten thousand claiming race over five one slash two furlongs. He was pulled up but it was the 26th death at Santa Anita in either racing or training since the meeting opened on December 26. It was the third horse. The Hall of Fame trainer had the first death on December 30 when Psychedelicat, a four-year-old gelding, was injured and later euthanized in a $16,000 claiming race. The fatalities Paul Endorfer, who was also part owner of Kachas, could not immediately be reached for comment. It appeared that Santa Anita had turned the corner on equine fatalities for almost six weeks after Arms Runner was euthanized March 31st, following a fall on the dirt portion of the downhill turn course. The next fatality, the sport has spent the last two months in a desperate attempt to repair its image. Protesters have sh Belinda Stronach, president and chief executive of the Stronach Group, proposed safety reforms at the Companies, two California tracks Santa Anita and Golden Gate Fields. It included a reduction. She wanted to extend those rules to other TSG tracks in Florida and Maryland, but so far has been unsuccessful. The reform measures were. In addition, TSG, Churchill Downs Incorporated, the New York Racing Association, and many independent tracks such as Del Mar, Los Alamitos, and Keeneland also announced a series of reform measures that included no LASIKs for two-year-olds starting next year, and all stakes races in 2021 will be run without race day LASIKs, including the Triple Crown races. They Visit the Los Angeles Times at